Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. So as well as the normal random musings and observations, I really just wanted to show off my tank today. This is my discus tank. It is my favourite tank. I love almost everything about it, bar a couple of niggles. It's got everything I want, the couple of niggles being the cactus pickle that lives in there that likes to redecorate for me, which I'm not a fan of, but the fish itself is cool as all hell. It's got everything I want, it's got the beautiful fish, beautiful aquascape, lovely tank, great filtration system, lovely decorations, hood, everything works as it should, it works really well together, it's, it's done, it's my perfect tank. So it's got everything I want in the fish tank, it looks good, um, it works really well, all oh, the fish are really happy, everything's doing well together, perfect, sit back, relax and done. But that's not everything. The cost of running this tank is ridiculous and it's causing me all kinds of problems at the moment. I can't get my head around why it costs so much and it's starting to impact my enjoyment of the fish tank because I know how much it's costing me. So I did a video recently about how much my aquariums were costing me. This tank started off at 12 kilowatt hours a day to run it. Now we found some issues there. We fixed the heaters, replaced the heaters rather. I put in some extra lagging um, and some, so you can see I've covered up the sump. Well, I don't know if you can see, but I've covered up the sump. I've insulated the pipes. I've done everything that I can think of to do, which has brought it down. So the insulation brought it down to about nine and then I played around with the lighting hours and got it down to about eight. There's actually two lights on here at the moment. So the next thing I'm going to do is buy more efficient lights. Yeah, so these are the lights, they're the Aquarium Eco lights. I've had them for years now and I've, I used to be really happy with them. Now I'm mm, happy with them. I think they've degraded a bit, so I've got two of them on here. And it's fine, but it's just not as good as I remember them being. And they're 75 watts each, so that's something that can contribute to the power. So I'm looking for a good recommendation to replace these. Normally I just run with one light, I've got two on now, so you can see the fish in there. Um, but some more efficient lights, again, there's some outlay to cover that, some oh, some capex to cover the opex, and I'll get it down there, I might get it down to six or seven. And this isn't winter, remember, so during the summer will be nothing like that. But this is a very cold room, this is a hallway. The front door is just there, the hallway's open to upstairs. There is a radiator, but any heat that we generate in here just goes straight upstairs. It's a bad place to have a fish tank. Now, yes, I've got all these other cool tanks, no denying these give me pleasure as well. We've got mega tank here, just a massive tank. I can have massive fish and really interesting fish. I've got some tanks set up as display tanks down here. We've got the rainbows here with the Corys. These are guys, I love looking at this tank. They all have their own thing. There's interesting fish all over here. That's the beauty of having a fish room. You can have lots of individual things. Like Humphrey. Humphrey is without doubt my favorite fish because I spend so much time interacting with him. He loves to play with me and he's just awesome as all hell. We've got the other fish, we've got the Oscars down here doing really well, colouring up more. As you can see, I've turned the lights down a little bit on there, give them a few more places to hide and stuff, and yet they're looking great. We've got the Bucktooth Tetras up here. Again, loads of fish in here that are interesting in their own right that I'd be happy with is just individual tanks. So yes, as a win, it's definitely great having the fish room, but it's where I want to have the fish tank. It's where my wife enjoys having the fish tank. So we need to think of some options. So option one was move the tank, move it into another room. If we moved it into the living room, which is behind this wall, that room is a little bit warmer and we're in there more often. So it's usually kept at a warmer temperature and it's smaller, so it's easier to heat. I'm, quite, I'm a fan of that, but my wife, really wants to keep the tank here. I, right, I quite like having the tank here. Um, it is a statement centerpiece of the hall. It's just fine. If you leave it here, we have to pay a bit more for it. Option two um, is don't keep discus in it. I'm not a huge fan of that option because it's my statement tank. It's my display tank. It's my favorite tank. I want my favorite fish in it. And I'm really happy with this as I keep saying, but not that I wouldn't love goldfish or some other cold water fish. I'm sure I could do a really good display with some cold water fish. It just kind of irks me a little bit of, eh, should we do that? And the third option is kind of a hybrid of that, that we leave this tank here and do some cold water fish, but put the discus somewhere that I can enjoy them as much as I enjoy them here. 
So regular viewers to the channel will remember I used to work from here, I used to work down in the fish room, I had a tank, a, a desk set up in front of Mega Tank here where I could sit and I could do my normal job. But behind these curtains here is possibly a future expansion of the fish room, so let me show you. So behind this curtain here is where the fish room as it stands is, in here. But around here, um, sort of the more racking and more racking, 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 racking. I'm thinking about where this line is here for the, the steel, building a wall there and making this bit an extension of my fish room. So the idea being that essentially where this racking is would be my desk area. And then where this racking is, I could have another large tank maybe behind my desk. And that might be where the discus would end up going. The idea being that if, I, if this is my office and I spend five days a week in my office doing my normal job, I'd be spending time in my discus tank. My discus would be behind me, I'd be there, pro probably even seeing them more than I see them at the moment. And because the garage is so well insulated, potentially the heating costs wouldn't be quite as much. Because I've got all the rest of the fish room. Fish room's already heated. That would come into here. Um, yeah, that's, that's the thinking anyway. So ponder on that for a while. Is there anything else I could be doing? Like I say, I've insulated the tops. I could put a cover over it in the evening was another suggestion. Seems a bit extreme, but it probably would save some money. I just can't think of anything else that can bring the cost down for this. So is there anything we can do to save the discus tank being in the hallway like this? I'll leave you with a few gratuitous shots because, you know, I really just want to show off my fish. That's what this is all about. Um, but use that time to think of anything. Let me know in the comments if anything you've done in the past has saved you more than you thought or something that's not quite as intuitive because I think I've done everything I can. It's just, it's what it is. Hobbies cost money, maybe. Um, so I'll leave you some shots. As always, thank you for joining me so far. If you want to join in on Friday night, 9 p.m. UK time, you can come and see the live stream every week. We've you stream on Friday nights. Go and watch another video. Click join, click subscribe. Click, 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 click,